Hi, I'm David. I hear you're going to have an endoscopy. It sounds intense, but it's actually not that bad. Let me tell you what it's like. There are two different kinds of endoscopy, upper endoscopy and lower endoscopy, or colonoscopy. You may be having both. You can eat a light breakfast the day before the test. After breakfast, you can only drink your favorite clear liquids. You can drink any clear liquid until you go to bed the night before your visit. This will help you stay full of liquids and not get too hungry. The day of your test, you cannot drink or eat anything. That can be tough, but don't worry. As soon as the exam is over, you can eat whatever you like again. When you wake up, the nurses will give you a snack. I got a popsicle. When you're getting ready for your colonoscopy, before you come to the hospital, you'll have a drink that'll make your intestines all clean. Your doctor may also prescribe a medication, but don't worry, you and your parents will get all the instructions before your visit. You can pick any of these different clear drinks. Gatorade is my favorite. These drinks won't help you, so stick with the clear liquids. To make the special drink, you mix polyethylene glycol with your favorite clear liquid. You have to drink it pretty fast. I drink one cup every 15 to 20 minutes. If you get tired of drinking, make a game out of it. I like to watch a show and drink when the commercials come on. If your tummy hurts or you feel like you might throw up, just give it a break for a bit and try again. It's really important to make the intestines all clean. After you've started drinking the special liquids, you'll need to go to the bathroom a lot, but it's okay. Don't be surprised if your poop starts to look different too. When your poop is clear and watery two times in a row, you're ready to go and you can stop drinking your special drink. When you get to the hospital, you will dress in a hospital gown. It's pretty comfortable, like a bathrobe, and it makes it easy for the doctors and nurses to help you. To start, a nurse will bring you into a procedure room, like this one. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Next, you will meet an anesthesiologist. Wow, that's a long name. They are a doctor who will give you medicine to help you fall asleep. That means that you get to sleep through the whole thing. And when you wake up, you won't even remember the endoscopy happening. Cool, huh? But it still helps to know what's going on, so I'll fill you in anyway. Oh, I forgot to introduce you to Scopey. What's up, Scopey? Scopey is a long camera that the doctor will use to look inside of your mouth, stomach, and intestines. Let me show you how he works. For your upper endoscopy, the doctor will send Scopey through your mouth into your stomach and intestines to look around, kind of how food goes down. He will be looking around, taking pictures and biopsies. Those are little samples that Scopey picks up for the doctor. You may also be having a lower endoscopy. It's a lot like the upper endoscopy, except during your lower endoscopy, the doctor will send Scopey in through your bottom, you know, where the poops come out. The doctor will look at your large intestine and part of the small intestine. Did you know your large intestine is almost five feet long? Scopey will look around and take pictures and pick up little biopsy samples for the doctor. When you wake up, your family can come see you. You might be sleepy for a little while still, even after you go home. So chill out for as long as you need to. And remember to milk your parents for as much special treatment as possible. I was able to get lots of ice cream. <laughs> an endoscopy is a very safe procedure. When you wake up from an upper endoscopy, you may have a bit of a sore throat and feel gassy, but that gets better very quickly. It is very, very, very rare, but possible, for kids to have some bleeding, get an infection, or need a surgeon to fix a tear in the intestine. Most of the time, you get to go home in a few hours. If the doctor took samples, they will be looked at under a microscope and your family will get the results in five to 10 days. I'm glad we were able to hang out for a bit. If you have any questions at all, you can ask the doctor or nurse. Well, I guess I'm done here. That wasn't bad at all. Time to go home now. Bye.